in this video, I'm going to be talking about the reciprocal of a number. Now, the reason I'm talking about this in the middle of a series of videos about straight lines is that it turns out to be how we define perpendicular lines. We're not going to get into that right now, but knowledge of what a reciprocal is is going to be important for that part of the topic. So, the reciprocal of a number. Here is our definition of what that means. The reciprocal of any number, say n, is just 1 over that number, so 1 over n. Worded like this, it feels quite simple, and it is, once you, get, once you understand it, it is definitely a simple idea, but it is something that people tend to make mistakes with, and they often forget what this word reciprocal means. So try not to do that. Remember what this word means. It's just one over the thing we're talking about. So if we start off with five as an example, the reciprocal of five is one over five. That simple. What about on negative five? The reciprocal of negative five is one over negative five, but that would look weird to write down. So instead we write negative one over five. Now that is the same number as one over negative five, it's just a nicer way to write it. Okay. Now the reciprocal of one over five, we can think of this in a few ways. I would personally think of it in terms of what we call stacked fractions. So one over one over five, and then times both the numerator and the denominator by five. That's one way to think about this. Or we can think of the fact that we're sort of going backwards by finding the reciprocal of a reciprocal that undoes itself. The important point here is that the reciprocal of one over five is just five, which is why I'm using this double headed arrow here. If we reciprocal something twice, then we just end up back where we started. So the reciprocal of five is a fifth, and then the reciprocal of a fifth is five. Now 0 0.2. Well, this is a trick question because 0 0.2 is just a fifth already. So the reciprocal of 0 0.2 is five. Do not get thrown off by the fact that decimals can appear. It is generally easier to turn that decimal into a fraction and then find the reciprocal. Let's try a different one. We've got six over five now. How can I find the reciprocal of that? Well, as I've said, it's just one over six fifths. But again, that's a horrible stack fraction because you've got to make your lines the right size for this to make sense. So I would instead write this as, well, five, six. These are actually the same number. To demonstrate why that's true, you can imagine timesing the numerator, which is one, and the denominator, which is six fifths. If you times them both by five, then on the top you get five and on the bottom you get six. So it is just five over six. Now that gives us a very simple shortcut, which is useful to know. If I have a fraction like six over five, the reciprocal is just the numerator and the denominator swapped. Now that's always gonna be true. Which is again, another piece of advice for you. I would always recommend having an improper fraction if you need to find the reciprocal rather than a mixed number. Because with a mixed number, it's slightly harder to work out what's going on. I would always turn it into an improper fraction because then all you have to do is switch the numerator and the denominator. Simple. And then as a final example, we've got this one over two, uh, sorry, 1.2. And it will take you a second to realize that that is just six fifths. So what I actually just want is five sixths. And sometimes it might be useful to use the same form that the thing was written in. So I might want to write five sixths as a decimal instead, which is 0 0.8 free with here. That's not always a necessity, but it's sometimes useful to know, and it's good to know that we can do that. We can convert to a fraction, then find the reciprocal, then refer convert to a decimal. Okay, so the key point in this video. The reciprocal of a number is one over that number. In the case of fractions, we just flip the numerator and the denominator.